Hi, my name is John Shinstock, and today we're going to be talking about the installation of a Cody Technologies bike rack light onto a Thule XTR Pro bike rack. Thanks for joining us. So I have the bike rack in the upright and stored position, and the first thing we're going to do is remove these top two screws holding the last tray in place and loosen uh, these bottom two screws here. Um, we're gonna, what's going to happen is the light's going to install between the tray and the, the frame here. So right between these, this gap you see here. And we're gonna replace these screws with some longer ones. Um, the current ones aren't, aren't bad. They're just, these one, the new ones are a little bit longer and I'll show you uh, some image, images of those, of those in a minute. Uh, but first I'm gonna, I'm gonna remove these two screws. You'll need a five millimeter Allen wrench to perform this step. And once they're loose, you can just remove them out of there. And the screws we're replacing them with will require a, a six millimeter um, Allen wrench. And the reason we're only removing two is because we want to keep the tray in place. Uh, we're going to replace all four of them, but for now to get the, the light in, we're removing two screws and then we're going to set the, tr the light in place, replace those screws and then replace the, the bottom screws. So you replace the button head cap screw with the patch on it that's on your bike rack with the provided socket head cap screw and lock washer. Uh, it's a little bit longer and it'll make sure that it fastens your, uh, your tray and your, the, the Cody light to your bike rack correctly. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna drape the power cable back behind the rack and then we're gonna slide the new light right between the trays here. So luckily we have them the lower ones a little loose and then the, the plates will line up with the other plate. And then we have these, these longer screws. I'm just gonna start them by hand real quick to get everything going. And the tray, I'm about to stand up so you can get them, get them started. These are the longer socket head cap screws. And for these, we'll need a six millimeter Allen wrench. Just tighten them up. Once you hit that patch, it's gonna require some extra force to tighten the screws. But I'm not gonna go all the way. I'm gonna, before I get that fully installed, I'm going to remove these button heads, take the washer off of them, load it on the cap screw, go back to the larger wrench, and feed those into the rack like that. And then the last one, just back and forth with the wrench. I'm able to hear in the background, it's getting kind of, the weather's, it's a fall, it's about to rain, which is a good time to have a, a light on your rack because it's easier to see on your way to the trail. So, anyways, now I've got the screws started, I'm just gonna tighten it up. So the last thing to do is gonna be some cable management and routing cable from the light down to your power supply in your vehicle. And as you've probably seen, it requires a, a four inch, oh, I'm sorry, four pin connection on your vehicle. And there's some adapters if you have a seven pin or other size, down to a four pin. So what I'm using to route the cable, and this isn't included in the current Thule uh, Pro, He's included in a couple other racks, but I've installed this thing. It's been here for quite a long time. It's actually holding up pretty well. It's a 3M uh, uh, cable tie holder, um, but I put one here, I'm gonna zip tie it back here a little bit of space and then I'm going to run the rest of it down to the side of the rack and put some zip ties there. I'm not going to record me doing that but I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Um, if you do want one of these and you're placing an order just give us a comment we'll throw a couple in the bag. Um, they're kind of nice you can buy bags of them from Amazon but not everyone needs a bag of a hundred so if you want a couple just let us know and we'll, we'll throw some in there. All right so the lights installed and I've run the cable back to the at the vehicle. You can see I ran it here. I've installed one zip tie. Um, I cut the ends flush with some uh, wire cutters 
basically. Um, you wanna make them flush so they're not sticking out and hurting you. There's not a personal preference to how you run the cable, so this is just some general ideas. I've made a service loop here at the back. The nice thing about this rack is all the moving parts are inside this section here. There's no area where the cable can get pinched like some of the other racks have. Um, so this is kind of nice. And then I've just uh, made a little service loop, uh, put a couple cable ties there. And then how much you have it stick out here, it really depends. I could probably make this shorter because my vehicle has a long extension here. But if I put my, my rack onto another car, uh, they might have a, a rigid mount here and won't have this extra extension. So it might be okay to leave this here. And you also push and pull this in and out. These aren't super tight, but they're tight enough to hold everything in place. All right, let me know. Let us know if you have any questions. Hey, thanks for joining us today. If you have any questions, you can check out our website at www.codytechnologies.com or feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email. Have a good day.